Well, a very good God morning to everybody. Starting the day in God's Word is always the best way to start the day, That's isn't right. it? That's right, absolutely. And of course, we've been really examining Galatians 3, 13 to 14. And, <laughs> and we're going to keep yes. doing that because there's just so much. It's just so packed with so much information, so much revelation. And I really in particular love the way that it uh, comes across in the, um, in the Passion Translation. So that's coming up on your screen right now. But let's look in particular at verse 13, because it says there, everyone that hangs upon a tree is doubly cursed. It's doubly cursed, incredible. And I think that we would need to just ponder on that for a moment and just let that sink in. Jesus wasn't just cursed, but He was doubly cursed. And sometimes we just have to say like sailor, you know, just pause. Let's think on that. Let that sink into, uh, sink into your spirit. Let it become, you know, flesh and blood on the inside of you. So the reason why we need to do that is because of this. If Jesus was doubly cursed, then that means you and I were doubly blessed. Yes, yeah. That means you, you were doubly blessed. If Jesus was doubly cursed, you and I were doubly blessed. Look at what Isaiah says in Isaiah 5, uh, 45 verse 1. It says, Thus says the Lord to His anointed. I want you to put your name in there. To John, to Joy, to Cyril, to Varney, to whoever, whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before Him and loose the armor of kings to open before Him the double, double doors. doors. Mm, the double wonderful. doors. So that the gates will not be shut. Verse 2 says, I will go before you, make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, am the God of Israel. And look at what he says in um, Isaiah 61, verse 7. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. There's the word double honor. Wow, that's powerful. And then it goes on and says, and instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in, they, in their land, they shall possess double. Mm. They shall what? Wonderful. They shall possess double. double. Now let's look at another scripture, which is found in Job. Remember, Job started off great, and then of course, uh, literally all hell broke loose. But right at the end, in Job 42 and 10, it says, And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as, as much, much as he had before. That's double. Yeah. Let's look at what Elisha asks Elijah before he's taken up. All right? And so Elijah says to him, ask what may, what may I do for you in 2 Kings 2 and 9 before I'm taken away. And Elisha said, please let a double portion. Mm. Again, there's the, the double. There is the double, all right? So that's a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So the point, family, is that Jesus died on a tree. He was crucified for you and me. And in so doing, He was doubly cursed so that you could be doubly blessed. Wow. Hallelujah. Wonderful. So you're not just blessed, you're doubly blessed. Hallelujah. You're blessed exceedingly, abundantly, above of what you can ask, think, Absolutely. or imagine. Absolutely. And, I, and you need to let that sink, sink in. There in. is no limitation because of the fact that Jesus was doubly cursed. You and I are doubly blessed. Our finances are doubly blessed. Our marriages are doubly blessed. Our businesses are doubly blessed. Our creative thinking is doubly That's blessed. Right. The way that we conduct business and connect with people is doubly blessed. Hallelujah. Mm. Your ministry, your church, the giftings and callings that God has placed on the inside of you are doubly blessed, which means it's going to have double the impact That's right. on your neighborhood, in your business, in your world. Amen. So let that really sink in because that's a truth that you need to lay a hold of. Amen. So we're going to pray this morning. You want to do the honor, sweetheart, again? Father, we just okay. want to thank you for today. Yes. 
We thank you, Lord, that each and every person watching mm -hmm. today, the curse has been broken mm -hmm. so that we can be doubly, doubly blessed. blessed. So we thank you for a double, double blessing Come on. on each and every person <laughs> today. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Double, God bless double, you. over. Double, Have double. Have a double, double day double, today. Double. Bye.